think I'm, I'm emotionally raw right now. I think 30 years looking back, it's amazing. When Kendra St. Charles looks back on surviving a plane crash into the freezing waters of Flushing Bay, the word blessed is top of mind. I think that's what's causing my tears today. I look back and think how blessed I was and all the joy that I've experienced. On March 22nd, 1992, Kendra, a sales rep from Akron, was among 51 people on board when U.S. Air Flight 405 took off from New York's LaGuardia Airport in icy conditions. It only got up about 40 feet before an engine stalled and the plane crashed. And actually cartwheeling down the runway. I remember hearing people scream. Kendra was tossed into the frigid bay, still strapped into her seat, upside down and unable to breathe. I was disoriented and where was I? And I gradually remembered to unbuckle my seatbelt and rise to the top of the water. But then she says jet fuel on the water led to explosions. I imagined it was like being in a, in a war zone where you just had hand grenades being thrown at you. Kendra waded towards runway lights, where a man she calls her guardian angel comforted her. To this day, she doesn't know who that man is. I said, I'm so cold. And he said, just lean on me and you'll be okay. She suffered broken ribs, a punctured lung, and bad burns. 30 years later, she thinks about fateful decisions. She switched seats with All My Children actor Richard Lawson, who also survived. I'm feeling kind of panicky, but I'm not dying like this. And she switched seats again with a woman who was among the 27 killed. Survivor's guilt was hard for Kendra. And then I heard the term survivor's responsibility. And I, I decided I was never going to figure out why I lived and others died. Instead, she focused on making a difference. Kendra testified before Congress and helped pass the Aviation Disaster Family Assistance Act. Provides support and resources for families involved in an aviation disaster. Kendra says Monday's deadly plane crash in China, a day before the 30-year anniversary of the U.S. air crash, brought the memories rushing back. It's like a, a scar that you just are going to rub it and you feel it again. Kendra now shares her story through motivational speaking, determined to do something good with her second chance. It's my way of honoring the people who lost their lives. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.